Hey YouTube, this is Charlie from Dark Cry 2000. I keep saying it wrong. Um, and um, I keep forgetting what my profile name is, but I didn't realize, so I thought it was Darky 2000 in the beginning, but it's Dark Cry 2000. So in this video, don't comment like, hey, well, well, I, well, we saw that before, and it's like, why do you connect, correct it now? Because I just saw that. So anyway, this is. My two little reviews on my custom Halo Gravity Hammers. So, my first Gravity Hammer. You will need two Mars Mission, um, oops, Mars Mission Green, Mars Mission, like, Neon Green Studs, and, um, a big gun like for ships then you will need one of these pieces there is no stone on the top that one just won't come off so one of these pieces gray or black it doesn't matter and you stick it in the middle and if you put it on the right way you should end up with something like that what you do is you take a lever and you bend it all the way down, like that. Then, you take it, so it's up and down, and you go like that. That is my first custom gravity hammer. My second custom gravity hammer, you'll need two red clear studs. A big gun as you've seen before. This time you will need a little claw toothpiece. And the same cylinder thing. So um, you take the claw, you put it in. You do the same thing as you did with the rest of the gravity hammer. Those are my two custom Halo gravity hammers. Oh wait, I'm not done, I'm not done. This is just a gun that I kind of made up. Um, it's like, I call it a clip gun because it's like, so there is a, a clip here on the bottom. And you have that. And you have, it's like a rifle. Ah, uh oh, not good. Okay. And then there is my sniper rifle. Just um, the clip gun, there's only one different piece in the clip gun than in the sniper rifle. Sniper rifle has this piece that's flat with the little grabber thing on the end. And the clip gun has this piece with the little hole on the end. So, you'll build the um, sniper rifle and the clip gun the same way, but only this, this piece, goes right side up, so it would go like that, and the clip gun points down like that, okay? So, um, what you do is you take, hold on, yeah, a half bushing piece. And one of these pieces, it's like uh, an axle for wheels, but with a really, that little just stubby stud on the end, with a stud on the end, and then what you do, you push all the way down, so you get something like that. Then you take your sniper piece. And you take it and you put it on like that. Take your little pistol piece. And you put it on like that. There you have your sniper rifle. And um, if you want me to show you how to make a magnum, fine. But the stud that I'm using is not gray. 
an ongo commenting saying, well, you didn't use a gray stud. You just need, like, any color stud and one of these pistol pieces. Hit a magnum. So then, take that piece and put it on the end so you get something like that. That is what you have for your clip gun, gravity hammers. Clip gun and gravity hammers, and then clip and sniper rifles. Oh yeah, and um, this is in my custom bounty hunter review. And thank you for 10 viewers at least. Um, oh yeah, and there's one more thing. There's one more gun you can make. It's a little turret gun. So as you can see, this is the turret gun that can move in all directions. Thank you to some simple technology. Take your little magnum pistol piece from your sniper rifle. You take this gun, you keep it by itself. But what you do is, you see that little piece on the end that's really skinny? What you do is you stick that through the hole. Or if you want to, if you have another one of these magnum pieces, which I don't, but I'll just show you how to do it, you can take um, the one from your sniper rifle and stick it halfway through, and take this one and stick it halfway through. Then you have turret gun, and then as long as you have um, another one of these magnum pieces, you have... Um, your turret gun. I just like to do my single because I don't know where my other magnum piece is. So, that is pretty much it for this.